In this video, we will see the basics of machine learning and we will understand what is machine learning. To start with the machine learning, we should first understand the artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is an old concept and it is being there for many years. It refers to providing the intelligence to the machine. Like the human beings, they can think intelligently. The machines also should be able to understand and think like the human beings. So the old concept of artificial intelligence has been converted into machine learning and deep learning these days and the major reason behind this modern AI is the explosive growth in the data sets. Earlier we did not have sufficient data which can be used in training models and then converting them into the predictable models but now we have the sufficient data available because of the innovations like high speed internet and the availability of the computers uh, and the mobile phones apart from that the infrastructure has also been grown and especially in the machine learning when we talk about the processing it requires a lot of processing power that can be used in uh, ma making the model uh, intelligent and making the machines learn so gpus uh, the invention of gpus uh, has played a major role and these days TPUs are also available. Just at a glance if you see the artificial intelligence is the main broad domain and machine learning is a kind of subset. So artificial intelligence can be achieved by two ways by the rule based intelligence where you write a program and make the machine understand uh, how to apply a particular rule in a particular condition. So you write a simple if else condition and your computer program can do some intelligent work. The machine learning is a different concept. It's a branch or it's a subset of artificial intelligence because it also leads your machines to be intelligent and it is also equivalent like providing artificial intelligence to the machines. Machine learning is different than the general rule based intelligence is in such a way that a machine Machine learning is a, such a technique where you make the machine learn from its own experiences and deep learning again is a subset of machine learning it also can be used in achieving the artificial intelligence but when you make the machine understand and learn when the machine is made so intelligent that it can handle very complex tasks and like computer vision robotics and other things uh, that is uh, called the deep learning so let us start understanding the machine learning uh, step by step so machine learning has solid roots in years of research so it has really been a long journey since the end of the 50s when arthur samuel classified machine learning as being a field of study that gives computers the ability to learn without being explicitly programmed so this is the major difference between the rule based artificial intelligence where you instruct the machine to take some decisions in a particular condition machine itself cannot take any decisions while in the machine learning you make the machine so powerful that it can take the decisions by its own learning and by its own understanding so this is the definition of machine learning it is a computer program and it's said to learn from experience e with respect to some task t and some performance measures p if its performance on t as measured by p improves with experience e then it can be called a machine learning process. This definition had been given by Tom Michel in 1998. So there are three components as you can see. One is task, second is experience and third is the performance. So if you have been assigned a task to perform, you will perform that task based on your experience and then you measure your performance. If your performance is improvising, if you are improvising your performance with the experience, then you can say that you are learning and the same thing applies to the machine learning. Let us see with an example. So if we take an example of classifying emails as spam or not spam, uh, this is the task which you want to perform. So your T here is the classifying emails as spam or not spam. Then the second step is watching you label emails as spam or not spam. So computer sees you, computer watches you that whether you label an email as spam or not spam. And this is how it gains the experience. So looking at your activity, looking at the way you, you label a particular email as spam or not spam, the computer gets the experience from you and the number of emails correctly classified as spam or not spam by the computer is the performance. So if your computer program keeps improving its performance of classifying the emails as spam or not spam and if, it's, if the accuracy is increasing uh, based on its experience, then we can say that the computer is learning the machine is learning at this point of time most of the spam classifiers are very powerful gmail and any other email if you take they are able to classify the spam by themselves and they are putting them in separate folder many times you do not encounter any spam mails in your inbox and this is because of the performance level which has been increased from day to day by the learning 
so in general machine learning can be uh, classified into three different categories the supervised learning unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning so if you see supervised learning there are basically two types regression and classification regression refers to the uh, methodology where your model will predict some accurate number or value uh, like say for example if you want to predict the market rate or if you want to predict the housing price then you generally take the regression it is mainly used in different domains as shown in the figure on the right hand side and uh, the another uh, use of uh, supervised learning is classification where instead of predicting a specific value you classify the data in different categories like we did in spam and not spam kind of thing the unsupervised learning is uh, opposite to supervised learning in supervised learning you have labels which, which are used to tell the machine that this type of data belongs to this type of category while in unsupervised learning you do not have any instruction you do not have any labels or any any information about the data the data is provided and then the data has to be understood by the machine again there are two types of uh, categories of unsupervised learning first is called clustering where you cluster all the data which is not labeled so machine machine has very less information about the data it automatically classifies the data based on different features and behavior the second is dimensionality re reduction and the dimensionality reduction the things are almost identical because you do not have the data and it all it automatically gets that meaning by its own the third category is reinforcement learning it is mo mostly used in the game AI and skill acquisition and other domains. We will see it in detail in the next slides. In supervised learning, your model gets the data with the labels. Like if you have collection of shapes and uh, shapes are labeled like which is hexagon, which is triangle or which is square. So you input this uh, information to the machine, to the model. The model will process this data, it will understand and learn which type of shape can be called hexagon or which, can, which type of shape can be called triangle and then it will keep this information for the future. After that you provide the test data by sample shapes and the model will predict and will tell you that this shape belongs to square and the other shape belongs to triangle. So this is the way by which uh, the machine adopts the intelligence by learning from the labeled data since we are providing the label data it is mostly referred as supervised learning it depends on the type of algorithm we predict this example shows a classification where you are classifying the data into multiple shapes now if we see the unsupervised learning you have the data but you are not providing any labels so on the left hand side you can see multiple species including some animals and birds but you are not specifying them you are not make you are not providing the label to the machine the machine will get this data it will automatically identify the data based on some features and then it will make a cluster of this type of uh, uh, data and then it can automatically classify them in different categories so in unsupervised learning compared to the supervised learning you do not have the labels and the learning is difficult here because the machine has to get the decisions by its own and the third type of machine learning which is reinforcement learning again it's a kind of self-learning where you use this in the games mostly you observe you select an action or some pol based on some policy then you act and then you get reward or penalty so the machine is asked to perform task and it has to take the decision if the machine fails in taking the decision we penalize it so it gets a penalty and if it does it successfully we reward it so based on the penalty or reward it will update its policy automatically as you can see in the example a robot has been assigned a task once he touches the fire he gets the, the penalty minus 50 points and he understands that okay this is a bad thing i should not do this thing so this is how uh, the machine learns based on the reward system and it's a very powerful mechanism for some of the domains so in this video we have seen the basics of machine learning we understood how the machine learning works and the types of machine learning